Okay guys, also from this position in uh, Spider Guard De La Riva to single leg X Guard, uh, we can also attack a Toho. This position comes in hand for brown belts and black belts, especially in competition, because people try not to get swept from there. And they're always going to try to run away. You see what I'm talking about. Whenever I'm in this position, right, then he has a cord, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to weave my leg under, bridge, bring him over me. Okay, now, this is when you can wrap to the ankle off, or just keep those pants. And if you're going to go for the toe hole, I'll keep these pants, all right? Now, I'm going to bring my foot here again. And instead of bringing this inside, I'm going to keep it on the spider guard in this case. Why? Because I want to push him away. Also remember, uh, they're always going to try to run away from you. So they're always going to try to run that way or try to, you know, sneak out, sit back, all of that. So what I'm going to do, push him that way and extend the leg there. Okay? Boom. This foot's really important because this is generating the torque on that knee. And it's not ripping, guys. It's going to be only, only going to be ripping if you bring the heel passing the belt knot line like here this could be ripping okay so be careful just here keep it here make sure curl your toes so you don't slide under you see curl your toes there that's a little trick when doing spider guard or, or stepping on your partner's tights or hip bones now you see how the foot is out of the mat this is when i can come from here to here most of the time you can just push it like that and then go for the lock once you get here i prefer to lock my feet and push so he's gonna fall now remember the previous toe we practiced i don't want to go straight to his butt what i want to do is to lock my elbows and keep these toes as close to my body but then start to bring them down and this is when it's gonna make him tap this not this i'm pushing away and I'm losing my strength here. So I want to keep it down here. Like this. So you go with your head and your hands. Like that. Like that. Also, if you want, if you're having trouble to smith, you can grab the heel and your forearm can uh, go on the toes like this. And then you can try to submit him from there. That detail works sometimes. It's good but this but if you don't feel like doing that you want to stick to to the basic or class, classic one just here look Ooh. if he starts to rotate remember guys if he rolls you roll with him you continue with the lock but you finish that you are that we got before this one is competition test so go for it drill it you're gonna get it bridging where do you bridge? Here on the spider guard. And notice how I'm curling my toes again. So you go, boom. And this is when you bring him over you. Now you have the space to bring your foot on the bell, push him away, and now there you go. You have your ankle exposed. You are saved from him attacking your feet now. Because first you have this, and then you're gonna start going for that ankle. He won't be able to attack you as much because that arm is posting and the other one you still have it control so then as you start to go into the toho now you're gonna bring this leg up and lock them pinch your knees because in that way he's not gonna have too much movement on his knee okay so pinch your knees and then once you're here toho fall on this side and go we know the rest. If my partner throws that leg over, tries to kick me, I'm gonna just rotate with him. Here guys, you can use your elbows to adjust your hip right on his knee. So then when he rolls, you have the right angle for the knee bar. Now here, guys, if you feel that your partner can do something with this knee, you lock it like this. And then that's it, game over for that knee, and then... Yeah.